photo tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you a new application that's just come out called Affinity Photo and in particular about patterns and you can apply a bitmap pattern to shapes. Now just got to, just going to go down here there's a whole range of different options here and there's a number of different types of paths. Now there's rectangle obviously rectangle, ellipse and all those sort of things but you can also do things like callouts and cogs and clouds. Now I'm just going to go for a cloud. Right, so I'll just add that design. Now, obviously at the moment it's not actually filled with much, it's just white. But you can actually just go ahead, click fill. You've got various options, gradient. But if you want to actually make it even more exciting, you can actually fill it with a gradient. And you can actually fill that gradient. But Again, the key thing here is there is a bitmap option. Now, I'm not actually certain why the bitmap option isn't readily available throughout the system. It would be nice. And also, it would be great if it was actually a vector um, pattern as well. But unfortunately, it's not. So you can't use EPS files, but you can use PNG files. Now, this PNG file was actually created in Affinity Designer, but you can also save it. It was actually a vector design in the first place. It was actually created in Illustrator. But you can use any patterns. You can use patterns, obviously, you can create in Photoshop, whatever, you can save those. Now, just going to select that PNG file, click open. Now, you can see there you've got a real nice sort of unusual design, very quick and easy. And it's, I say, it's a PNG file, but it's a PNG file that in Affinity Designer, you can actually save it 2000 by 2000, 700 by 700 in this case. But or maybe 10,000 by 10,000, so you can really make a very big pattern and then use it in this tool and manipulate the scale as well as the angle. Now, that's a feature that uh, sadly is not available in Photoshop. I would love to see that feature in Photoshop so angles as well as modifying very quick and easy that way. Now you can, of course, use other designs, so you don't have to just stick with this pattern. Obviously, you can just select any of the other designs as well, maybe a rounded rectangle, and create one, and you can see you've got the design already. Just go back to the gradient tool, and then just manipulate it there. So it's actually separate from the other design above. Anyway, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.